Hello and welcome, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. We start off somewhere in Hollow Earth, where we see Kong being chased by a vicious pack of monstrous hunting wolves. After running into a dead end, we find out he's actually set a trap for them. Once the dust settles, the remaining wolves start to close in. That is, until Kong raises one of them and tears it in half giving himself a nice green goey bath. Of course the remaining wolves decide they want none of this monkey and retreat. After a nice bath using the local waterfall, Kong sits on the edge of a cliff and tries to enjoy his new meal, but notices a toothache. Just at that moment we hear another roar in the background startling Kong. He rushes over to the location, but only finds a frog-like animal imitating Kong's roar, so disappointing. The scene then skips to Dr. Eileen Andrews giving a speech explaining how Hollow Earth and the surface are linked. She tells us Kong and Godzilla won't fight as long as Kong stays in Hollow Earth, while Godzilla protects the surface from other alien creatures. We get to see a quick clip of Godzilla doing his thing, let's watch. We then go to the Monarch Outpost 1 in Hollow Earth when they notice a sinkhole revealing uncharted territory. Back to the Hollow Earth access point where Dr. Eileen has shown some seismic readings, where she decides to send a survey team. We skip to the Monarch Base Academy where Gia is attending school. She ends up in a daydream while she scribbles patterns on her desk, only to stop when the teacher calls her name. The school calls Eileen in and shows her the drawings. Gia tells Eileen that she doesn't belong anywhere, but Eileen says they belong together. Aline ends up noticing that Gia's drawings match the seismic readings. The scene skips back to Monarch Outpost 1 where we see a sleeping crew and the camera show us a big eyeball. We're now at Titan Truth Podcast where Bernie is doing a live broadcast as Aline knocks on his door. He's upset until he finds out it's her. She is invited in after telling him she needs his help. He confirms Gia's drawings and the seismic readings match, exciting Aline. After complaining about trolls not believing him on his podcast, Aileen finds out he wants to go to Hollow Earth. She ends up getting an alert on her phone and tells Bernie they need to go right now because Godzilla is on the move. We get a small clip of Godzilla heading back to the ocean. Alerts start going off at the Hollow Earth access point as Kong makes his way up. Everyone is alert until they find out his tooth just hurts that bad and he needs help. We now see an animal vet by the name of Trapper preparing to tend to Kong. After sedating Kong, Trapper hooks Kong's infected tooth to a rig and yoinks it right out. We then see him telling Eileen that his new tooth can chomp through anything. Bernie tells Eileen that those signals are a distress call, and something is calling Gia for help. Eileen gets the green light to go and investigate the signal source. Gia talks Eileen into letting her tag along since she is the one being called. In total, Eileen, Trapper, Gia, and their pilot Mikkel. Bernie manages to beg his way into riding along. At the same time, Kong starts to wake up and heads down with her. After a crazy warp move, they make it to Hollow Earth and proceed to Outpost 1 while Kong heads home. After making ground fall in France, Godzilla absorbs an entire nuclear facility for a supercharge up. At the same time, Eileen and her crew arrive at Outpost 1 to find it destroyed. They find a camera and a handprint that doesn't belong to Kong, so they scramble out of there. Kong makes it back home, grabs his trusty axe, and starts to investigate the new hole himself. Once Kong reaches the bottom, his attention is drawn outside the cavern by a roar. Here he finds the first living ape that is like his kind, a little brown-haired mini Kong. It's not very friendly though, as it chomps on Kong's extended finger and runs away. As Kong gives chase, another ape drops down behind him and then two more tackle him. After smacking those three apes around using the smaller one, Kong saves one from falling off a cliff. Just to get Spartacus kicked back down after attacking Kong. The other apes start a hasteful retreat, but not before Kong gives one of them a going away present. Leaving just Kong and the little ape, who ends up guiding Kong to a location. Meanwhile, Eileen and the crew start to head towards the source of the signal on foot after landing. Trapper feels something strange and wants to go around, but Mikael has a problem with that, until he's eaten by a tree. The rest of the team immediately start to run, poor Bernie is having a problem dealing with what he just saw. After getting his charge, Godzilla starts to head straight towards the known titan called Tiamat. At the same time, Eileen and the team find symbol remains from Gia's tribe. After finding the temple entrance, a light bug shows Gia the secret button that starts a flow of water. They follow the stream and run into a jello-type wall. Gia and Eileen end up ripping a hole, and find out this is the place from Gia's dreams, so of course they enter. 
We're now back with Kong and his new friend as the reach a lake. They start to refresh themselves with a drink, until the lake owner decides to try enough Kong for lunch. Little Kong takes off running while leaving Big Kong to deal with the sea serpent. He didn't get far as Kong throws his axe and trips him, then tosses the serpent's head on the ground. They end up enjoying their new meal on the cliffside together, creating a bond between them. Back to Tiamat's domain in the Arctic Ocean where Godzilla is calling him out. Godzilla shortens the fight down to about 5 seconds by instantly slicing Tiamat up with his flame breath making snake stew. He enters Tiamat's lair after his victory, and then we get taken back to Eileen and the team getting caught by the Iwi tribe. They're taken to a temple, well now we know where they've been hiding all this time. Gia is introduced to the Iwi queen and discovers she's the key to awaking Mothra. Here we find that the signal source was the Iwi calling for help and this is why Godzilla has awakened. After the Iwi pour some glowing liquid, hieroglyphs start to appear and we find the story of Scar King getting trapped in hollow earth by Godzilla, and he wants his revenge. Once reaching their destination, Kong notices his kind are being mistreated and forced into labor. After helping an older ape, Kong knocks one of the loud guards out with a simple jab. One of the apes report Kong to the Scar King, which we finally get to see. All the apes take a bow, all but Kong of course. After kicking one of the older apes into the lava pit, the fight starts between these two monsters. We have Kong and his axe, against Scar and his whip, let's watch. Please take a moment to give the video a like if you're enjoying it. Thank you so much. Before Kong has a chance to win, Scar pulls out his secret weapon. Another captured titan named Shimo, that he forcefully controls using a crystal. After getting a major case of frostbite and losing his axe, Mini Kong shows Kong the way out before he's turned into a frozen statue. Kong escapes, but at the cost of losing his axe. We're back with Eileen where the start to finish reading the hieroglyphs. To find out the Iwi will be saved by one of their own kind, from Skull Island. Yup, they're talking about Gia. Kong is now on the run and uses multiple traps to outsmart some of his pursuers. Before they get to reach him, Mini Kong saves the day with Kong's trap. One of the apes make it out alive. Meanwhile Godzilla starts absorbing all of Tiamat's domain energy. The Kongs make it to the Iwi camp looking for help, but were followed. The ape returns and tells Scar King about the vortex in the Iwi camp. So they head off, including Shimo. But now Godzilla has finished charging Tiamat's energy. Trapper leaves to get a mechanical arm to add to Kong's arm for extra strength, which is stored at Outpost 1. He returns and releases an autopilot device that attaches itself to Kong's arm. He likes it, a lot. They finish just in time as Mini Kong comes to tell them Scar King is on his way. Gia tells Kong they need help, so he heads off to fetch Godzilla. He goes through a vortex and ends up in Cairo, Egypt. After a loud roar from Kong, Godzilla starts to head off in his direction. Meanwhile, Gia walks to the top of the temple and revives Mothra. Mothra heads to the surface and Trapper has a crazy idea for bringing reinforcements. This idea is way weirder than that. Godzilla makes it to Kong, but pays no attention to the fact that he wants Godzilla's help. Let's watch. Please take a moment to give the video a like if you're enjoying it. Thank you so much. Before they get to Sirius, Mothra breaks it up and introduces Gia to him. Now he gets it. The Scar King has arrived at the Iwi camp and uses Shimo to stop the portals from closing. But Trapper also arrives, with his reinforcements. And then Kong with his new ally, Godzilla. After the temple's gravity kicks in, we get a nice flying rock fight between them. Now Mothra arrives and starts webbing all the apes, Kong also gets some assistance from Mini Kong. Gravity kicks in and ends up sucking all four of them through the vortex, Kong losing his axe in the process. We're taken to Rio de Janeiro where they end up falling from. Scar King's first move is to freeze the sun, but then Kong wakes him up with a punch, knocking out a tooth. Now it's two versus two on the surface. Uh. 
but with brave effort, Mini Kong brings Kong's axe through the vortex. As Shimo occupies Kong, Godzilla catches Scar's whip and breaks the crystal off. Scar drops it right after picking it up as he runs from Godzilla's breath. Him and Kong struggle to reach the crystal, until Mini Kong comes and breaks it using the axe, freeing Shimo. Kong knocks the crap out of Scar King before he has a chance to harm Mini Kong. Then he gets frozen solid by Shimo as Kong holds him up. After a life-shattering body slam, Scar King is no more and Godzilla unfreezes the sun. Mothra returns Gia back to Eileen, who thinks Gia will be staying, but to her surprise, Gia says they belong together. Godzilla returns to the Colosseum to take a nap, while the Kongs return to the underground to rebuild under a new leadership. Please support me with that like button and subscribing if you enjoyed this video, it really helps me out and will give you all future video release updates. As always, thank you so much for watching, stay safe and God bless.